Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a terrible, a terrible, a terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. My topic is titled, Why We Need to Stop Laughing with Nigerian Comedians. I attended a show in Lagos recently, and what should have been a pleasant evening turned into what I can only describe as a torrent of horrendous, humorless, misogynistic attempts of comedy, at comedy rather. It has become de rigueur for Nigerian comedians, with the exception of Alibaba, to bounce from one misogynistic diatribe to another without regard for their audience. Their attempts at entertainment would be better suited to entertain sewer rats, where the gutter humor would find a home. When the women bashing jokes were over at this event, the next target was the disabled. This was the first time I heard the limb deformity, genuvarum, commonly called bow legs, wickedly referred to as bracket by comedian Shay Law. Why, I wondered. Laughter is said to be the best medicine. Medicines are for healing. Therefore, a talented, polished comedian could lift up the spirit of a muted society by momentarily distracting us from the myriad of issues blighting our daily lives. So if these comedians have real talent or have a modicum of intellect, wisdom and decency, they wouldn't need to morph into playground bullies at the expense of vulnerable members of our society. Every time we laugh at their offensive jokes, we become unwitting accomplice to their violence. For as long as we continue to smile our way through their performances or whisper our displeasure in harsh tones to our neighbor, they will never change. For as long as brands and corporate marketing executives continue to sponsor book or endorse their humor with rewards such as brand ambassador. We invite them as MCs at corporate events, our weddings or functions. Their assaults will be bolder and more harmful, sinking us further into an abyss we may never recover from. But then again, this is Nigeria. Assertive women are a problem. The land of mediocrity, self aggrandizement and delusionals. This is the country where rapists and executors of rape jokes are given endorsements and lauded as legends of their industry. This is why we must stop laughing with such comedians and find the courage to protest our displeasure by staging a collective walkout at the next show where such venomous narratives are uttered in the name of comedy. Frankly, I am smiling with you no more. <laughs> mm. yes, it's indeed. not a laughing matter. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It's not a laughing matter. Anymore. Yeah. No, you are right. Mm. I, I mean, um, I, I enjoy some jokes, and maybe there are some that I enjoyed. Maybe because I'm actually already against the people they are using as jokes, Such like, as? like like pastors. Okay. I enjoy all the jokes about pastors okay. and people like that. But it must be because I have a hidden agenda. <laughs> against them. That's what it is. Politicians' um, jokes. You know. Um, yeah, yeah, and poly, yeah, well, yeah, we all enjoy politicians' jokes, mm -hmm. you know. But truly, they do sometimes go into territory where you're laughing, but you see, the thing is, you can make fun of life and you can laugh about it without realizing how much damage is being done to those who are in that life those who, who don't see the joke in that life. And um, I, I mean, it's not as if I have statistics as to how it has damaged society, how the comedians are damaging society. I'm not 100% sure if there are those statistics, but perhaps if they try to work them out, they will find there's a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, in any case, I find the current generation uh, 
a little bit too, um, uh, they, they, they are too, um, is it insulting? Okay. They, they easily so, do what just, the comedians are doing. Let so, me just clarify something. Are they the sign of the times? Well, let me just clarify something mm. because, of course, our script is very limited, so right. we're not able to write as much. So somebody had finished playing. I mean, there were jokes about a certain personality who actually came much later. They were joking about the fact that she bleached for a man and everything, we all in shock. It went downhill where um, the, the, then there were other jokes where this other guy was demeaning women. That's the second comedian. And then another comedian um, said, you know, there had been a guy who played on stage. He was an acoustic cigar guitarist and he was playing with, um, with Johnny Drill. And after they finished, they went back. You know, when they finished, they go backstage. And then this Sheila calls him back and said, oh, God, come back, come back, come back, come back. And says something, something, a bracket. I said, sorry, what is a bracket? Mm. And that's when I said, oh, that's the rude word for bow legs. I was disturbed. So the guy had what I'm legs. trying to say is, mm. and then the next day, funny enough, Omar Jua did a post. He had just experienced the same type of thing. I haven't posted mine on social media. He posted it somewhere else. And he just experienced there's something similar about a comedian laughing about Down syndrome children. Okay. And he said, you don't know how many children, how many parents in there have Down syndrome. So my point is, there are lines. There are boundaries. Everything can be funny, but not everything should be made fun of. Yeah, I mean, I like what you said about, you know, um, a gifted comedian should be able to lift people's spirits and turn their attention from away. So actually, that, that's a good standard to look to because a lot of times, I remember when, you know, well, let's say, go away from Nigeria. I remember in the UK, you know, they when you know, much earlier, they used to have spastic jokes. Yes. Yeah. And we thought it was funny until we realized yeah. who a spastic was. You know, yeah. we didn't understand. And then we realized, and we thought, oh, this isn't fair, you know, really. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's like, it's an immature form of comedy when you, you don't have enough intelligence to find ways to use your comedy to heal. Because yeah. laughter is yeah. meant to heal. Yeah. So, you know, it's not to say you can't do it, but you haven't discovered how to do it because you're too busy doing the cheap jokes. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, it's, I am used to going to parties where they do Igbo man jokes, even when it's an Igbo man <laughs> that is the celebrant. Yeah, and exactly. they'll say, oh, Igbo man, if you go somewhere yeah. and the Igbo man is not there, market is not, you know, run away. Yeah. Yeah, everybody will be like, I'm like, it's it can dry, be it's funny. boring. Yeah, no, it can, it can be, be, but it can funny. be fun. Yeah, it that's the thing. But you need to gauge it. That's the point. And we're not trying to dumb down humor. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. But they're not putting Igbo men down, actually. That's the thing, because we all know that Igbo are known for trading. Their... I know. They're known and for the line, Sometimes they push it. So I'm yeah. trying to say that you need to be careful, because sometimes they think they can crack jokes about women, about mm. black people. It's easier if you're a black person or an Igbo man or whoever it is, and you're laughing at yourself, then you know, right, you know, right. you know, right. say nigga, nigga, nigga. But yeah, it's but disability, disability yeah. rape yeah. jokes. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. The lines you don't want to crack. But comedians are... Rape jokes are out. They... I, I think they seem to have like a get out of jail card. Okay. You know, but you'd find that most of the jokes they they put out there are jokes that reflect us at that particular point in time. You know, um, unfortunately, they are self censoring because they can say anything anywhere. So and say they were just joking. It's just a joke. But that's the point. You know, Should they I, be so allowed there's, to? There's, there's, there must be that line. I mean, joking about autistic. Children, it's, it's no and it's bow no legs no, and or bow legs and things like that, you know. But I mean, uh, you see um, comedians do like you know those funny jokes and imitate all sorts of. We've grown to see them do this, mm. and I think discussions like this will probably call because they listen, they research, mm. Mm. you know, and they they basically feed us what we want to hear. From yeah. Them, yeah, they don't listen. No. No. Go on, Uche. Well, they don't um, listen. No. <laughs> They don't listen. I don't know. I think we're, again, heading into dangerous territory, <laughs> trying to censor comedians. Um, I don't think we should censor comedians. I think we're all at different levels in society. We seek certain things. Like when I'm watching some shows, it's not every kind of show that makes me laugh, any kind of funny show that makes me laugh. I always say to people, a sh uh, you know, a, com a comedic show that is like slapstick, Benny Hill, all that. I hate it, I don't have time for it, and so it doesn't appeal to me. So I wouldn't go to a place where they are, you know, portraying or putting out such base jokes, because that's not, that's not going to appeal to my, my consciousness. But I don't think that it should be removed or it should be censored, because there are people in society that... No, but Uche, the problem, what you're, what you're missing out is that in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you have a lot of people who 
or you have a society that still hasn't appreciated how to look at women. They still haven't appreciated how to look at disabled Respect people. The disabled. Uh, yeah. So, so they're still growing in that understanding. And so if you now allow them to keep, and it actually reflects in the way they behave. It's yeah, not like exactly. you laugh at it and it doesn't yeah, affect. You yeah. still find that people do show a lack of consideration on kindness even, even towards to women. Eh. Yeah. So it's, it, it, okay. maybe when we're a bit more mature and you say, okay, you're, you're, yeah, you're but trying but to make... I don't but, but if you enlighten them, just mm. like you said, you know, back, back in the UK, you know, they it's would say... Jokes. Yeah, they would yeah, say those Yeah, but that's because jokes. the UK but, have rules and things. No, I'm saying, you know, you still Find, we all you had still to find people watch cracking those jokes. how we speak. No, you yeah, but they can't. Yeah, but, jokes. They but look at Danny Glover. He lost his job. Look at Danny Glover. Oh, Danny Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny Baker lost his job oh, yeah. when yeah. he called. When he referred to or implied yeah, even that the implied baby is always yeah, that the baby looked like a monkey. Yeah. that's what I'm saying. So in the UK. People do get sanctioned. I can give you two examples. Basket mouth told a rape joke, mm. Right? right? That went right. viral. Yes. And a lot of, um, what do you call it, a lot of the uproar was outside of Nigeria. That's okay. why we need to start dealing with these things in Nigeria. That's okay, okay that's Bakasi point, yes. also told the rape joke in a place that was full, I've seen the video, in a place that was full of women and stuff and that's why i said for as long as we continue to smile our way through this because you can see some women are uncomfortable of course. but rather than and all get up, well, and i, I don't want somebody and, and to men. call somebody yeah. on stage I, I didn't even notice the guy was bow legs till he called him on stage so it's not both it's one leg mm -hmm. so till he called him on stage and he's saying something something bracket i do not want to see that mm, that's it's a like friction. humiliating and him. i didn't sign up to no, go I mean, and see a the, those and i don't think anybody me anyway. and anybody if you have it, and it's about that decency, that respect for the fact that Ireti walks up the, up the stairs, Talalantolo, if you really have any talent, that's not what you're going to Focus use. On. If you're going to joke about Ireti, mm. you talk about her voice. Mm. You say, I, you know, sometimes she'd go, 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 whatever. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. That I would find funny. funny. Even but, funny. But that's, that's my you point, know? that there are different levels of, of, of uh, comedians, different levels of people, different, mm. and, and they're just reflecting society. society. I, I take mm -hmm. offense to um, comedians, someone like Basket Mouth. He's used in corporate events and all of that. So he should know his audience. You know, mm. you don't, you're not going <laughs> to, See women see you there. You're abusing women, or, or I don't think he does it again, though. Yeah, no, we because don't he was, but this was a while yeah, ago. But he should have known better. He so, should have. You know, I think, yeah. I think just like a guy in the beer parlor, his jokes yes. are going to be different. Not going to be intellectual. Yes, right? and you and I are not going to go there. Right? No, exactly. That's the thing. Mm. This was a, a show. Yeah. yeah. That was With very proper, expensive yeah. tickets. Yeah. Right. Right. That we sat in, mm. and it's interesting. Everybody on our table were like. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, why don't we all just walk out? That's, that's the, that's the I think that's, that's the message you're yeah. trying mm. to pass out. The, yeah, and I think I like you know, that. Once they don't I get people positive, are if people are laughing at those jokes. They will go on much higher the next time. Mm. You know? But when they find that they're getting very negative reviews and pushbacks, they would, they would not want to do that again. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's... That's my point. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm even trying to... Want, I don't know if we're, how much time we have. No, we don't. We don't, we don't have, have any more time. time. OK. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and unfortunately, the comedians get far too much time. And it just goes to show, laughing with the crowd isn't always the best policy. After the break, Uche takes a look at another mass misdirection in our society. <laughs> 